thought for the day today. In the gospel it says, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. Um, what is it that we seek here? Well, you know, we seek, um, all of us seek a sanctuary, really a safe place where our own healing and transformation can happen, uh, where we can move beyond the mind we have. But the truth is we're human beings and we're gonna go with what we know. So if you know violence, then that's what you're going to go with. If you know, you know, I pack a gun because I want to be protected and safe, you're going to go with that not follow uh, understanding. If you know only getting high to numb your pain, you're going to go with that. So, you know, uh, we, we try to change uh, what we know. It's a little bit like autocorrect on your phone, which I hate. Uh, so like yesterday, Veronica was uh, texting all sorts of madness and talking masa. So I typed, texted to her, I texted brat, and then of course autocorrect wanted to change it to best. I said, oh hell no, brat. A couple weeks ago I was speaking to a room full of sisters, nuns from a religious order, and a homegirl texted me and she said, so what are you doing? I said, oh, I'm about to speak to a room full of monjas, you know, Spanish sisters. And autocorrect said that I was speaking to a room full of ninjas. <laughs> uh, not long ago, a homie was asking for some help with his rent, and I didn't have any money, so I typed, things are tight. And autocorrect sent him, thongs are tight. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Uh, <laughs> what about my rent? Uh, so you're going to go with what you know. I always uh, have that example. You and I go to uh, uh, to say mass at Juno Halls and stuff. You know, the homies get up and they read, but they're always going to go with what they know. So homies reading the psalm, uh, beside restful waters, you leave me. And he said, beside resentful waters. <laughs> well, because rest he's not that familiar with, but resentment he knows a lot about. Or when we got up and uh, was doing a psalm again, and he said, the Lord is exhausted. <laughs> well, exhaustion he knows, um, but he's not that familiar with exaltation. The Lord is exalted. Once I sent a homie to a job interview, he came back very excited, and he was so thrilled, and he said, uh, I got the job. <coughs> Yeah, the boss said I fit the description. <laughs> I said, well, unless he thought you were America's most wanted, uh, did he see? Did he say uh, met the qualification? That one. Met the qualification. Uh, recently, uh, a homie on a Friday was asking Father Mark, uh, "Hey, are we going to have meditation on Monday?" And Mark said, "Yeah, nine o'clock, just as always. In fact, I could see you." leaving the group, and the homie looked very distressed, and he said, leaving the group? <laughs> well, every homie and homegirl in this room is used to, perhaps at one time or another, being asked to leave a group, but maybe not so familiar with being asked to lead one. Uh, what you seek is to change what it is that you know, because we're always going to go with what we know. So homeboy industry is like autocorrect. Um, it's not trying to change who you are, quite the opposite. It's trying to help you discover the truth of who you are, that you're exactly right. You're not supposed to change who you are. Um, but it does want to alter what you know. Because if you know tenderness, you're going to live out of that. If you know loving, kindness, and generosity, you're going to do the same. Homeboy Industries is a sanctuary, which is to say a safe place of healing where you can change uh, what you know. So we ask and we will receive. We seek and we will find. We knock and watch that door open to us.